Hey everyone, you here with Bo, and welcome to my detailed tutorial on how to set up a Ledger Nano S cryptocurrency cold storage wallet. Now, for those of you who don't know, a cold storage wallet is one of the only ways you can store your cryptocurrencies offline where they are invulnerable to hacking or phishing or other forms of malicious intent where people are trying to steal your cryptocurrencies. One of these devices are only around a hundred bucks with delivery. Um, if you're holding a fair bit of cryptocurrency or are interested in keeping your cryptocurrency safe, it really is worth investing in one of these so you have the peace of mind and you know your cryptocurrencies are safe. If you are interested in buying one, there's a link in the description. Okay guys, so here is what you are gonna to need to get started with this tutorial. So firstly, you're gonna need your Ledger hardware cold storage device. You will also need the USB cable that it comes with. You will need a pen and the small recovery sheet that also comes with the device. And lastly, you will need to download and install the Google Chrome internet browser. Okay, so assuming that you have downloaded and installed the Google Chrome browser, the first step is to go to the Ledger website. The link is in the description. Now, once you've come to the website, you want to go to the apps section. And in this tutorial, we're gonna go through uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ethereum-based ERC20 tokens. Okay, so the next step is to download the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and Altcoins app, then the Ledger Wallet Ethereum app, then download the Ledger Manager. Now, after these apps have installed on your Chrome browser, once you go to the apps section of Google Chrome, you will see them here available to open. So the very first thing we wanna do is open the Ledger Manager. Okay, so now we have the Ledger Manager open. It's time to actually power up our Ledger Nano S and get it configured. Okay, so with your supplied USB cable, plug in the micro end into your Ledger S and stick the USB into your computer. Okay, so once you power up the device, it's going to light up blue and it's gonna say welcome. So to start, press on both buttons to begin. Now it's then gonna tell you that the buttons are used to interact and control with the interface. Uh, long story short, one button is up on the menu, the other button is down on the menu and both buttons are used um, as an enter function. Okay, so knowing that, let's hit both buttons to go to the next step. So it's then gonna ask you if you wanna configure as a new device. Pressing the button above the tick We'll go to the next step. So I was then gonna ask you to choose a pin code. Now, just so you know, you can have a minimum of a four digit pin code or a maximum of eight digits. Using the left and right buttons to go up and down through the numbers, you press both buttons to confirm. Now, just be really sure to remember the pin code that you choose because if you do get it wrong three times, the Ledger Nano will reset. Okay, so once you're happy with your pin code, press both buttons to confirm and to move on to the next step. It's then gonna ask you to confirm your pin code, so pressing both buttons, input the pin that you just chose before, press both buttons, and we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is your recovery phrase. Now, using your small recovery phrase card that came with the box, the device is gonna go through 24 unique words just for you, which will be used um, as a backup in case your device gets lost or stolen. Now, being extremely careful when the words are displayed, make sure that you write down the words in the exact same order in terms of the number as the device is displaying. Also, be really careful with your spelling and that it matches the spelling of the device. So, pressing both buttons to start the process. So, as the device displays those words one at a time, you'll just hit the next button to move on to the next one after you've finished writing it down. But you can also go back if you want to recheck some of the words that you've written down previously. Okay, so once you're confident that you have written down all of your words on the card, press on both buttons to move on to the next step. Okay, so the device is then gonna ask you to confirm a few random words. Looking at the number on the device, select the word that you wrote down that corresponds to that number and hit both buttons to progress. Okay, so if you've done that right, it will then come up saying progressing and then it will say that your device is now ready. So pressing both buttons. The device will then show you the couple of wallets that it's got installed as standard on the device, which is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you'll then see, because we've got that manager already open, it's gonna instantly open because we've connected to our device. 
Okay guys, now the first thing we want to do before we send any cryptocurrencies to our new Ledger Nano S is we want to ensure that the firmware has been updated. So in the manager here, if we just come over to firmware, we'll then click on install, which will download and install the latest firmware. Just make sure that you click on the small tick that will display on your device after you click install, where it says allow Ledger Manager. So you will just hit the tick button. Now after you hit the tick button, it will just ask you to put in your pin before it updates. Okay, so once your device has finished updating, it will then ask you to put in your pin again. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just make sure that we have the latest apps on the device. So we will download the Bitcoin app here. So we'll press download and it will install that application on the device. Just remember that you will be asked on the device to confirm whether the ledger manager can access. So pressing tick. Okay, so that's done. Now we will download the Ethereum app. Okay, so now let's send some Bitcoin to our Ledger Nano S. So now we just need to go and open up the Bitcoin app through Chrome. So we will close down the Ledger Manager and then we'll, we will click on the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. Okay, so when the wallet opens, it should look a little something like this and it will ask you to, to begin to connect and unlock your Ledger Wallet. So to do that, just scroll to the Bitcoin app on your device, then press both buttons to enter. Okay, so it's now gonna ask you which address type. It will ask you whether you wanna use the legacy Bitcoin blockchain or the segregated witness uh, Bitcoin blockchain. So we're gonna click on segregated witness. Okay, so we'll then synchronize and we'll come back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so here we have the Bitcoin app open. Let's actually send some Bitcoin to the app and see how it works. Okay, so if you had a phone and you had your Bitcoin actually stored on a mobile device, you could then send uh, that Bitcoin straight to this uh, address by scanning the QR code, but we're gonna send some from an exchange instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, double click and copy this Bitcoin address, and then we're gonna go to uh, my wallet on CoinSpot and we're gonna send the Bitcoin. Okay, so here we are on my CoinSpot uh, wallet um, on the CoinSpot exchange. Now here we have some Bitcoin that I recently purchased. So we will put in the address here and then we will put in the withdrawal amount of five dollars worth of bitcoin okay so we will now click send okay guys so back over here on our bitcoin wallet we can see the bitcoin has now arrived we can see down here the date and time it arrived and from the address that it came in so there you go that's how you transfer bitcoin to your nano ledger s uh, bitcoin wallet Okay guys, so now we've done Bitcoin, let's do Ethereum. So coming to your Ledger Wallet Ethereum app, click on open. Okay, so once that app is open, it should look a little something like this. Now on your device, go back to the Ethereum app, click on the two buttons to open it. It will then sync to your computer and look a little something like this. Now for this tutorial, we are gonna do standard Ethereum. So we'll click on standard Ethereum and let it load and open. Okay, so our app is now open. We want to send some Ethereum to the ledger. So over here, we want to go to uh, receive where it will display our Ethereum address for this particular wallet. Now, again, if you had a mobile device with your Ethereum stored on the mobile, you could scan this QR code and send it straight to it. But in, for this example, we're going to send some from an exchange. So we will copy this address and then go back to the exchange. Okay, so I've put in the Ethereum address from the Ethereum wallet. Let's just double check and make sure that the first and the last letters line up. So we have OX and A1. We'll just quickly come back here. We have OX and A1. That's all correct. I've put in the amount of Ethereum that I want. I'll click send, then I'll verify the transaction. Okay, guys, so back here on the Ethereum wallet, we can see our Ethereum has now arrived. Um, if you wanted to send that Ethereum, much like Bitcoin um, and much like how you would do it from a normal exchange, you would simply come to the send button up here, uh, put in the amount that you want to send, the address and the amount of gas, which is basically um, the speed at which you want that transaction to process. Okay guys, so with Bitcoin and Ethereum out of the way, let's do the tricky one now, which is the Ethereum based ERC20 tokens. Over here on the Ledger Groove HQ site, which there will be a link in the description, is a list of all the Ethereum-based ERC20 tokens if you wanted to check whether your particular cryptocurrency you have bought is an ERC20 token or not. Now, it doesn't look to be updated um, because I'm going to send a Bitcoins token, which is an ERC20 token. So just keep coming back and checking this 
or perhaps check uh, the white paper of the ICO that you may invest it in to check if it is an ERC20 token or not. Okay, now the Ledger Nano S does not have a native client for displaying ERC20 tokens. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use the My Ether Wallet interface to actually view those ERC20 tokens on the device. So the first step is to come to myetherwallet.com, being very careful that you've clicked on the right one and looking for the LLC US in the top bar to ensure that it is the real My Ether Wallet site. Okay, now with your Ledger Nano S still connected via USB, come over here to view wallet info and click. And then down here, you will see a Ledger Wallet access uh, box. So tick that. And then over here, there will be a button saying connect to Ledger Wallet. So let's go through what we need to do on the device before we connect. We need to change a setting on the Ledger Nano S before this interface will actually work. So what we need to do is we need to come to the Ethereum app on the Ledger Nano S. We'll press the two buttons to enter the app. Now the app will say use wallet to view accounts. So pressing the right button, we will go to settings and then we will press both buttons to open the settings. Okay, with the settings open, the first word you're gonna see is contract data. Now pressing both buttons, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move down and we're gonna press yes. Now, after we've activated yes, we will move down and there is another option here saying browser support. So we wanna press on both of those buttons. We wanna press down and then we wanna say yes to browser support. Okay, so what we've essentially done is we've changed the Nano Ledger S from looking at the uh, client based out of the Google Chrome app to be able to look and interface with the My Ether Wallet website. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna click on connect to Ledger Wallet. Don't worry too much about the stuff at the top. What we're gonna look at is these addresses here, which are multiple addresses that are available on your ledger. We're only gonna use one address at the moment. So we're gonna click on this top one here, which is the one we used before. We can see the Ethereum that was actually put into that account. And we're gonna click on unlock your wallet. Okay, so we're now connected to our Ledger Nano S through the My Ether Wallet website interface. What we're now gonna do is send uh, a Bitcoin's ERC20 token to this address. All I'm gonna do is copy that address and I'm gonna paste it into my exchange to send my Bitcoins to that address. So I'll click send and I'll verify that transaction and we'll go and check my Ether wallet. Okay, so we've logged in. Now, all you're gonna see here is that Ethereum that we transferred before. Now, if you have multiple tokens, what you need to do is you need to click on the load multiple token uh, button, then you need to click on show tokens, and that will show whichever ERC20 tokens you have in uh, your Nano Ledger S through this interface. So we've sent some Bitcoin, we've sent some Ethereum, both to the Ledger, uh, Google Chrome apps, and we've sent some ERC20 tokens, some Bitcoins, to um, the Nano Ledger through the My Ether Wallet interface. So, what if we want to come back now and check our ERC20 tokens in our Ledger Ethereum wallet? So, we'll click on the wallet and we'll open it up. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky, and you have to remember this, otherwise, you will not be able to open this interface. So, what you've actually got to do is you've got to come back to browser support in the Ethereum application on the, letter, the Nano Ledger, and you have to go back to know and disable that browser su support before the application will uh, basically be able to read the Nano Ledger. So we'll click on no, and then you will see it open up, and then we'll go to Ethereum. We can see our Ethereum, but we cannot see our ERC20 token. That's because the ERC20 tokens cannot be seen through this application and can only be seen through the My Ether Wallet interface. So don't stress your tokens are there. You just need to use that My Ether Wallet interface anytime you want to see those ERC20 tokens. Just always remember guys, you've got to come back to settings and browser support, and you have to go back to yes on the browser support to reactivate that My Ether Wallet interface. And conversely, you have to go no if you want to come back to using the Google Chrome app. So guys, that's it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you in some way on setting up your Ledger Nano S. Uh, if you liked this video, then the likes are appreciated so, so much and really help my channel to grow. If you would like to subscribe, then I would love to have you on board and I would love to hear your feedback and comments as to what content you may like in the future. But thanks again so much from me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.